All right, gonna be sharing with you guys all of my advanced tips on the incline barbell bench press. I think I have the credibility to make this video considering I recently hit 275 on the incline at 160 pounds. So this video is gonna be directed to more so advanced lifters or people who have like plateaued or anyone just looking for more useful incline training tips. All right, tip one, you wanna have a fast tempo. I know you've probably seen those videos where they tell you to slow it down and like hold your right ear and then go up like no, you wanna be explosive, it should be like this. You don't really want to bounce it off your chest, but you definitely want to use your chest for a little bit of momentum. This is just the standard. If you see anyone benching a lot of weight on a bench press, they're definitely using their chest for a little bit of momentum. That's not a bad thing to do. You literally need to do that sometimes. If you're just going like mad slow and holding it here, then you're going to be lifting way less weight and doing way less reps at a given weight, therefore missing out on some muscle gains. All right, tip two, you need to wait long rest times, like three minutes. These lifts take so much out of you. So many people, they'll do a really hard set, then wait like a minute and then just jump right back into it. Like, no, you need to make sure you're fully recovered. You should be going 100% on these. You need long rest times, three minutes. All right, tip three, you need to train to failure on these. Like most of the time you should be training to almost failure. At most, leave one rep in the tank. I hate when people say you should leave reps in the tank and not train until failure. The main way to build muscle is progressive overload. You need to add weight over the weeks and in order to do that, you're going to have to train to failure. If you don't train hard, then you simply won't grow. Like if you're lifting like 225 for five reps, in order to hit six, you're gonna have to train to failure. That's just how it works. You need to train to failure full intensity, at mostly one rep in the tank. Always try to add a rep every single week. Which leads me to my next point. Stop doing five by five training, four by eight training, or four by six training. They fucking suck. The faster you progress, the stronger you will be on this and the more muscle mass you will have. That's how it works. In order to get bigger muscles, you need to get strong. Getting stronger is like the single main driver on building muscle. With five by five training in those styles, you literally progress so fucking slow and just kill gains. You progress at a snail's pace. It can take like a month to add some weight doing a five by five. If I was still doing five by five training, I would probably still be stuck on like 205 or something like that. Stop doing that, it's killing your gains. What you should do instead is honestly any single style besides a five by five. I made a video in detail about my actual training style, which I'll link in the description and put on the end screen if you want to check that out. But basically I do a style called reverse pyramid training. One heavy step between four to six reps, a second step between six to eight reps, and a third step between eight to 10 reps. This way I'm upping the weight weekly and PR almost weekly. It is the fastest way to get stronger there for the fastest way to grow muscle. Once you hit like a certain rep at a certain weight, like say you hit 185 for five reps, don't go for five reps five more fucking times. Like no, that's fucking insane. Add a rep or up the weight. You need to do one of those two things. That is the single most important thing from this video if you wanna get a big upper chest and get stronger on the incline bench press. Like fuck, add a rep, increase the weight. Add a rep, increase the weight. Don't just get stuck on the same weight for weeks. It's fucking useless. You, like you aren't growing muscle doing five, 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 no. What's the point of that? Your body already hit five. So just do 185 for six, or just do 190 for four, then 190 for five, then 190 for six. You need to add a rep or a weight. That is the literal main way to build muscle. Add a rep or increase the weight. Fuck. All right, this brings me to my next point. Rather than focusing on whether your upper chest is getting bigger or not, focus on getting stronger. It's almost impossible to just look in the mirror and be like, oh shit, I think my upper chest grew by like two inches. Like, no, just focus on getting stronger. If you are getting stronger, that means your upper chest is growing. Again, getting strong is the main way to build muscle. If you have a strong incline bench press, then you're going to have a big upper chest. That's just how it works. For example, if two people are the same exact body weight, one can bench 185 and one can bench 225, the person benching 225 on incline is going to have a way bigger chest than the person benching 185. That's just how it works. Just focus on getting strong as fuck on the incline bench press and you'll have a huge upper chest. This leads me to my next point though. This is a lift you wanna train like once a week max because one, there's other really important lifts too, such as like the regular bench press, overhead press, pull-ups. This like shouldn't be your like main compound lift you do like twice a week for both of your upper body workouts or both of your push days. You wanna have some variation. But this 100% should be a staple at least once a week. And two, Doing like two really heavy incline sessions like twice a week is just way too much. You're really gonna burn out. You could be like overtraining. Like if you're going intense enough to like build muscle and like PR and add reps, then once a week is plenty and that's exactly how you should be training. Another point, you should be able to PR like almost weekly, especially if you're gaining weight. People act like PRing is like the craziest thing ever. Like no, like for example, I can almost call how many reps I'm going to do at a weight because I'm tracking my lifts, I'm tracking it. 
I'm tracking my progress. Like, I'm not like, oh, I have no idea how many reps I can do at like this way. Like, no, I know like almost exactly what I'm gonna hit. You need to track your lifts and try to PR as much as you can. Like, I'm not like, holy fuck, I just PR, let me post it on my Instagram. Like, no, like, all right, cool. I built muscle. That's literally the only fucking way to build muscle past the beginner stage. You need to PR. You need to add weight or a rep, which is a PR. It's not the craziest thing that about the PR. You literally almost need to PR to build muscle. Progressive overload literally is PRing. Progressive overload and PRing are almost interchangeable if you think about it. So really, you should be trying to PR almost every week. But yeah, that time of the workout. All right, if you wanna get strong on an incline bench, then you're going to have to prioritize it over the flat bench. Like you should be training incline to fly on like a three to one ratio. Like think about what you would do to get a big flat bench press. It's like the same thing for incline. You really gotta prioritize incline. Like if you're just like training incline like once a month, then you can't expect to get strong on incline. You really gotta prioritize that as your main like big chest movement, which you should because the upper chest or shoulders make or break the physique. They are by far the two most important things. Like look at me, like, like look. Like from here to here. Like this like big area you have to fill out, bro. You look so just like big and full and like masculine and powerful. Like you should be able to literally like put an object right here. Like you'd in shirts, you just look so much bigger. It's like the single most important muscle group for like aesthetics. Incline bench press is the king exercise for aesthetics. Look ready, watch this. Look at this shit, see? Check it. Like look, you should be able to put an object right there. Just let it chill, let's see, check it. Yeah, that's what it is, bro. You gotta hit upper chest until you can put objects on it. That's when you know. Also, another big tip, it's just kind of just like random that I'm throwing in there. But like shave your chest, boys. Like seriously, shave your chest. I'm kind of slacking. Boy, when you shave your chest, you look like so much bigger and fuller. Like the first time I shaved my like chest, I was like, holy fuck, I look so much better. But nah, seriously, like facial hair like does hide like muscle definition. If you like shave your chest, you're gonna be like, holy shit. Like it really like gives you more definition and makes you look better. All right, when you plateau, like if you're, if you're dieting and you plateau, then that's fine. Like, don't worry about that. That's a perfect plateau. When you're losing weight, it's unrealistic to like keep increasing the weight. But if you plateau when you're gaining weight, or even like maintaining the weight. Like if you're gaining weight, you're gonna be like upping the weight pretty quick. If you're maintaining, you're gonna be upping it like a little bit slower, but you should still be able to up the weight. So if you plateau, like an honest plateau, during either gaining weight or maintaining, then just switch to dumbbells for like a month. Sometimes if you're just hammering the same exercise over and over and over again, especially a big compound lift like the incline, like squats, some shit like that. Like sometimes your brain just gets fried. It's called central nervous system fatigue. Like your brain is just like so tired and burnt out from doing the same exercise over and over again. So if you just switch to dumbbells, give your brain something new, then you go back to barbell in like a month, you'll be good to go to make some gains and like smash through some plateaus again. But yeah, those are pretty much all my advanced incline barbell bench press training routine tips. This has been my favorite go-to exercise for the interior side of my body for like three years now. I love the incline bench press so much. If I could pick one exercise for my interior side of my body, it would be the incline bench press, you already know. I've been preaching this too, like I've been preaching this. The first video I ever made, which also happens to be my highest performing video, was an incline bench press video. The flat still is a great exercise, but Really, for like aesthetics, the incline really is that important. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna put my 275 video right here, and then my full training routine video right here if you guys wanna check those out. Peace.